Lakewood Ranch is the hottest ticket in town. This area isn't up and coming. It is already here and it is on fire. I'm sure you've already heard a lot about Lakewood Ranch. Well, it's a master plan community that's primarily in Manatee County, a little bit in Sarasota County, all east of I-75. So that means it's farther away from the beaches and the area is humongous. It is the second largest master plan community in the United States and the largest is the Villages, which is just north of us here in the state of Florida. So if you've been thinking about Lakewood Ranch and wondering if it might be a good fit for you, this is a great video for you to watch to get a little bit more insight and one on what is going on around here. Hi, I'm Jill Thomas and each week I bring new videos about living in the Sarasota area, moving here, and then of course, all things real estate. So if you've been thinking about making the Sarasota area your home or Lakewood Ranch, Venice, Bradenton, any of our barrier islands, this is the channel for you. So tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and keep on watching. And as always, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. So feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I'd be happy to talk with you. Lakewood Ranch is crazy popular, but only you can decide if it's worth all of the hype. So I'm gonna share with you quickly three pros and three cons about living in Lakewood Ranch. Number one pro is Lakewood Ranch is truly a city within a city. Now that is really a main characteristic of it being a master plan community, um, is that lifestyle where you can live there, work there, shop, go out to eat, be entertained. And then of course there's schools there as well. So you've got your education. So you don't need to go far, you know, when you're living there within Lakewood Ranch. There is a adorable main street um, in Lakewood Ranch with shops and restaurants. There's a movie theater there. There's a mini golf. Um, and then they also use that area for like, they have a farmer's market. There's something that they call First Friday in Maine where uh, they have food, live entertainment, different activities going on. There's full-time activities directors that look, work for Lakewood Ranch as a whole, the whole master plan community. And then, and then that main street's so popular and with the growth, they're building a second main street, which is called Waterside. So that's gonna be done, honestly, I'm not sure when that's gonna be done, probably another year, but there's a huge lake there. And so it's, everything's gonna be around there by that lake. It, that's gonna be really, really pretty. So there's so much to do there. Um, they have activities, or not activities, but there's groups that you can join. Like if you wanna play Mahjong, if you're into cycling, you name it, they've got it for golfers, um, indoor, outdoor activities, hobbies, games. There's just everything. There's just dozens and dozens of different groups or clubs that you can join when you're a member or um, a resident of Lakewood Ranch. And then the final thing I wanna share is um, downtown right now, there's the Sarasota Players Theater, but they're working on building the, a new building out in Lakewood Ranch, and then they're gonna move the Players Theater out there. So that's gonna be nice too, to have a theater on the farther east, because right now all that's all the all that arts is to the west so it's nice to see that some of that's going to be trickling east now also number two is a con and this might be my least favorite and that is all of the traffic they've had this growth this explosion of growth and as you can imagine it's a little hard they, they're really working hard to keep up with managing the roads widening the roads they've improved the exit at i-75 and university which is really the biggest one, the main one. So those improvements have been huge with helping the traffic and the traffic patterns, the traffic flow, so you're not sitting there for so long. And they're also working, I think it's up at State Road 64, they're working on it right now too. So those are great. They know that's a problem. They're trying to improve the roads, widen the roads, but in the meantime, you're sitting sometimes, especially during season, January, February, March. So that can get a little annoying. You have to keep that in mind that there will be some traffic in Lakewood Ranch. Number three is outdoor living. Now suppose that you your dream would be to have a house or a condo on or near the beach just because you love being outside and you want to enjoy that. But maybe 
The price tag out there doesn't match your budget. Well, Lakewood Ranch could be a nice alternative for you. There are over 150 miles of walking paths. There's over 10,000 acres of lakes, preserve, extra land, um, parks. It's so, so beautiful out there. I don't want you to think that Lakewood Ranch is just one house after another after another. When you drive through Lakewood Ranch as a whole, it's gorgeous and it's very inviting to be outside, especially when it's February like it is and the weather's beautiful and there's snowstorms going on up north right now. So I'm, I'm sorry for you guys up there. That's actually not a lot of fun at all. That's not cool. But there's so much to do here. And then as I mentioned already, there are those um, clubs you can join. And a lot of those do revolve around being outside and different sports activities. As I'd already mentioned, there's cycling or um, golf, shuffleboard. It could even just be something like bird watching, just to be outdoors and to enjoy that. There's also polo grounds out there in Lakewood Ranch. And then there's also some playgrounds in Lakewood Ranch, like as a whole, where people can come and use those playgrounds. Now, depending on which community you buy in, there will be specific amenities that only people who live in your community can use. So for instance, if you buy into a community that has tennis courts, pickleball courts, shuffleboard, bocce ball, only those residents can use those amenities. It's not like anybody from any part of Lakewood Ranch can come and use it. Those are just for you and that's what your HOA dues go towards. So that's nice because then they don't get too congested. And then you can pick and choose what community you might wanna buy in based on what amenities they offer. Some of them have really gorgeous resort style pools, there's a lot you can do outside. So much fun, so beautiful. Number four is a con, and those are the HOA dues and the CDD fees. Now, each community in Lakewood Ranch is gonna have HOA dues, homeowners association dues or condo association dues. Doesn't matter if you live in a house, a condo, a villa, a townhouse, you are going to have them. Because these communities are so amenity rich that that's how those things get paid for. And the more amenities you have, then the higher those dues are gonna be. Now, just recently I had somebody ask me if there was a direct correlation between having a gate in front of your community and HOA dues. They were under the impression of no gate, then no dues, but that's not true. Having a gate is no different than whether or not you have a tennis court. Um, your dues will pay nope. for that and maintaining it, but if you don't have a gate or a guard at the front, doesn't mean that you're not gonna have HOA dues. Then the next thing are CDD fees, and that stands for Community Development District. Now, somebody has to pay for all those wonderful things I just mentioned that go along with that uh, growth, that explosion of growth. So widening the roads, improving the roads, bringing out sewer, bringing out water, um, parks, building schools. That money's gotta come from somebody, so it comes from all the residents in the form of these CDD fees that get rolled into your property taxes. Now, if you wanna know more about CDD fees, I did make longer detailed video about that, and I'll put a link to that um, below so you can check that out. Number five are the schools. There are great schools in Lakewood Ranch. Of course, there's elementary schools, junior high or middle schools, and high schools, public schools there, and they're all A-rated. There's a number of private schools in there. There are preschools, and then there's a good number of schools for higher learning. They're not four-year colleges, but there's a State College of Florida, which is formerly known as Manatee Community College from a long time ago. Uh, there's a technical school in there, and then there's a couple little specialty schools as well. Uh, there's one about pharmaceuticals, um, ophthalmology. So there's a good number of options. So even if you know, you're retired and you want to go pick up a class, you can go to the State College of Florida, SCF, and take a class. Number six is our final con, and I'm going to use a word that a customer of mine used to describe Lakewood Ranch from just the other day. She said it is overwhelming, and she drove through for the first time, and I think the reason why she thought that is because of the size, the traffic, and then also everything has a similar feel to it. There's continuity, and that's part of a master plan community. Um, there might be some variations a little bit from one community to the next, but otherwise, everything's just very pristine. It is beautiful, it's manicured, but there's nothing, a great deal of character, variety, it's not eclectic, and so some people don't care for that continuity, and other people 
love it. And then I also had another young couple, some buyers come down and they drove through Lakewood Ranch for the first time and they adored it. They loved it. They thought it was the greatest thing. So it just depends on what you like. This was just a quick little rundown of some pros and cons to living in Lakewood Ranch. What do you think? Is it worth the hype? Now maybe to you the HOA dues and the CDD fees, those extra fees are worth it because it is so amenity rich. There's so many activities, there's a lot to do and it's great fun. Or maybe you'd say, I'll save that my money and I'll create my own fun. So there's two different camps that people go into. Or maybe you like it that everything just is coherent, it's beautiful, it's all well put together, it's well laid out. Or maybe you would prefer something that's a little bit more eclectic, that's got more variety, the homes and the whole area has a bit more character. You know, what do you think? Is Lakewood Ranch the right place for you? Now, if you wanna know a little bit more about Lakewood Ranch and you said, okay, Jill, you wet my whistle, you teased me a bit, I wanna know more. Well, I made a longer video about Lakewood Ranch and the link is below, so check that one out. And then of course, as always, don't hesitate to call me, reach out to me if you have any questions more specifically about Lakewood Ranch. I'm happy to get those answers for you if I don't know them already or really anything about the Sarasota area and moving here. I'm happy to help. And then finally, tap that subscribe button. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate the support and I'll see you next time. Bye.